Hi, this is Jamie and you're watching Jamie Wins. I just finished my round 17 of radiation right now and I thought I'd just give you guys an update on what's going on. I'm actually starting to feel the fatigue. My energy level is starting to get a little lower and the treated area is starting to get a little bit darker, especially the one below the armpit, the skin right here in between the breast and the armpit is getting more tan. I'm actually about to consult with my oncologist right now because my port right here, I'll show you. This one right here is starting to be a little red and swollen and it shouldn't be the case. So I think I should have it consulted to see if something is wrong with it or if there's additional treatment needed. So I'm gonna go for a walk and give you an update in a few minutes but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm okay, not the best. <sighs> it's been tough. I've been um, psyching myself to be okay but yes the fatigue and everything is kicking in slowly. So this is me right now walking to my oncologist. I'm gonna do a little consultation about my port. I have um, first radiation and then now with my oncologist and then later on I'm gonna see my therapist. So yeah, today's hospital day. I'm glad it's Friday and I'm able to relax on Saturday and Sunday where there's no hospital commitments for a change. So I just got done with my oncologist meeting about my port scar and good news he said it's healing in a normal pace. It's supposed to look like this even if it's been a month and a half. I guess I just got worried because uh, since my port was removed I was hoping it would be you know less swollen but I feel like it's turning red and a bit itchy but he said just put melasma cream to minimize the the scarring effect so I'm gonna try that product and if you guys are using the port and you have some scar issues I'm gonna update you if that product works okay so now I'm off to see my psychologist I'm walking to the other building and yes because I do need the pep talk I've been feeling a bit down and bummed lately going back and forth to the hospital Monday to Friday every day is such a tedious task and seeing all these sick people all the time you get reminded of you know what's going on and it does get me paranoid but you know what we'll keep winning okay today is hospital day and I thought I'd share my day with you because this is how how it is and when I'm packed with all these medical commitments I can't wait for Friday to finish just so I could actually relax on Saturday and Sunday free of all these medical commitments. I just got done with my appointment with my psychologist. I make sure to see her around twice a month just to get some emotional support and ask for techniques to combat anxiety because it's very very normal as you go through cancer treatment to feel anxious from time to time and I don't want to burn out my friends by always exhaling to them. I'm personally not a big fan of taking antidepressants. I try to combat anxiety the natural way. So I think seeing a psychologist really does help a lot. So now I'm heading to my acupuncturist to get some complementary treatment. Acupuncture is very good when you're doing chemotherapy and to combat anxiety and insomnia as well. So that's it guys, today is the official start of my weekend. I'm done with treatments and I'm gonna start radiation again on Monday. I hope you enjoyed um, spending this day with me inside the UCSD Morse Cancer Center. And if you're watching right now and you're not going to the hospital every single day, consider yourself lucky and blessed. Acupuncture session just got finished and now I'm feeling a lot lot more relaxed. It definitely does relieve anxiety and a lot of other things so I'm a big advocate of acupuncture as complementary treatment. So now I'm officially ready to start my weekend. Ah, finally, thanks for sharing this day with me guys. I appreciate everything and oh check out my background. <laughs> How kinky. <laughs> 
So I hope that you keep uh, praying and supporting my journey because I'm far from over. I still need to do 30 more rounds of radiation and I have hormonal therapy coming up after that. And I truly appreciate that you guys are continuously praying and supporting my journey. And I hope to keep inspiring you all the way. So anyway, this has been Jamie and I hope to see you again here on Jamie Wins. Keep on praying and keep believing. Have a happy weekend.